it. You yeah, lads, if you were watching this video, it means that the Meta Quest 3 has been released and you were looking for some great free games to play in order to get used to your new headset. So this video contains a huge 101 free Meta Quest 3 games you can play right now. Now, some of these are demos, others are available for free on App Lab and or SideQuest. And by the time this video goes live, some of these may not be free anymore. So just be aware of that. Let's go. This video is sponsored by VR Wave. VR Wave make incredible prescription lenses for VR headsets along with selling fantastic accessories like face covers, halo straps and many more. And as of right now you can pre-order their special Quest 3 prescription lenses that will have a useful magnetic design and can be used to correct nearsightedness and astigmatism or you can even get them to filter out blue light to reduce eye strain. The best part about it is that they offer worldwide shipping so no matter where you are you can take advantage of their amazing products. Head over to www.vrwave.store or head down in the description the world put a link so first up then is roblox vr now it's obvious why this is on this list it has recently moved from beta in app lab over to the official quest store this game will be incredible to play on the meta quest 3 as many of the experiences should function better on the increased hardware of the quest 3 it should also give developers extra room to create bigger and better vr experiences Next up then is Attack on Quest. Now this free game has proved to be very popular over the years and has racked up quite a following amongst VR enthusiasts. Everybody knows Attack on Quest and this game is obviously built in the spirit of that as you jump around and take out titans. But like I said, everybody knows what Attack on Quest is so let's just go on to the next one which is... Now next up is Questcraft which is a VR port of the Java edition of Minecraft available completely standalone on the Meta Quest 3. Now I'm not 100% sure if this will work at this exact moment in time as it does require a little bit of a setup but if it doesn't work now it will at some point and this game is going to be incredible on the quest 3 as it should allow the app to run better than it did on previous headsets next up then is pavlov shack now this game is obviously a very popular one people have been playing this for a long time and it is up there as one of the best first person shooters and is now confirmed to run at 90 hertz when it launches on a meta quest 3 today anyway we all know this game so let's just get straight on to the next one Next up then is Lurking Shadows. Now Lurking Shadows is a game where you play as a nighttime pizza delivery boy and your objective is to deliver pizza as quickly and accurately as possible. However, as the nights progress, your mundane job becomes a terrifying ordeal as mysterious entities lurking in the shadows start to appear and get closer each night. You have tools like a flashlight, taser, mirror and sound emitter to defend yourself but they have limited power and each shadow has its own unique vulnerability such as being afraid of mirrors or sensitive to sound and light. To survive, you must uncover these weaknesses and use your tools tools wisely and the game bans five nights and the challenge is to make it through all of them without falling victim to the lurking shadows. Next up then is Inrun. Now Inrun is a dynamic VR experience available on SideQuest. In this game every session introduces a new game mission to adjust your skill level ensuring a consistently fresh and engaging experience and as you navigate the roads you're encouraged to seek out hidden balloons in challenging shortcuts which adds elements of exploration to the gameplay. Now collecting coins is essential as your accomplishment converts coins into rewards that enable you to unlock, customize and enhance various cards within the game. Next up then is ABC Saber. Now ABC Saber is a Beat Saber inspired game where you can learn your ABCs while swinging like in Beat Saber. Now let's be honest, if you don't know your ABCs, you're probably not old enough to be playing Quest 2. So I'm not really sure who this is for, but let's just get straight on to the next one. Next up then is Trackcraft. Trackcraft is a mixed reality game available for the MetaQuest Pro and MetaQuest 2, where you can race and build tracks with Lego like pieces using portals, tunnels, elevators, and offering unique features. Simply turn your surroundings into a mixed reality playground build tracks and share them with your friends and community now this is currently the demo version and the demo version comes with 20 levels unlocked the track editor is in the game and there's three different cars with time attack and collectibles with the full game being aimed for release in october Next up then is Bowling VR. Bowling VR is a basic virtual reality bowling game that lets players experience the excitement of bowling in a VR environment. Once again, this is a game we've seen loads of in the last couple of years, so it needs no more explaining. So let's get straight on to the next one. Next up then is Paper Toss. Now, Paper Toss is a casual VR game that challenges players to test their paper throwing skills in a fun and addictive office environment. In the game, players aim to toss a crumbled piece of paper into a wastebasket in two game modes, Infinite and Timed, with more coming soon. There are realistic throwing physics that offers a delightful way to pass time and compete for high scores as you aim to become the best paper tosser in the office. Next up then is Angry Maze VR. This is a virtual reality game that centers around the concept of an ever-evolving maze with a twist. The game 
game challenges players to navigate through a maze that's characterized as angry and the narrative suggests that it's not just a maze that needs to change but rather humanity's inability to evolve it in this game the maze itself seems to be evolving due to the introduction of virtual reality players are posed with the question can you adapt the changes in the evolved maze or will you remain stuck in a familiar patterns of the same old maze next up then is the envelopes please vr now this game is a nostalgic throwback to the classic 2002 browser game you play as ir baboon and your goal is to find the missing envelopes before the cartoons cartoons award ceremony the game features 25 3d characters from classic cartoons each with custom animations and it has an aesthetic inspired by cartoon network city bumpers and a detailed environment with hidden references additionally there's a backpack inventory system and the game is complete and ready to play with no need to wait for any updates this is a very big tribute to the classic cartoon network flash adventure game of the past and captures the essence of that era so next up then is VR Coloring. Now VR Coloring is a VR casual game where players choose their favorite sketch and use their touch controls to point and click in order to paint the section of their selected drawings. That's all I can really say about this one. So on to the next one. Next up then is Wicked Balloons. Now in Wicked Balloons, lovable balloons transform into wicked adversaries who kidnap cats that they consider the cutest beings. Equipped with specialized powers, embark on a perilous journey to save the feline hostages and foil the balloons of various schemes. Basically, this is a VR wave slasher with a focus is around slashing enemy balloons. Next up is Zap. Now, Zap is a co-op puzzle shooter that combines classic arcade vibes with modern action-packed gameplay. Wherever you choose to play alone or team up with a friend, Zap offers 32 levels set across 20 unique stages, and these levels will challenge your reflexes, aim and accuracy, and situational awareness. The game provides a straightforward yet challenging experience, with levels are carefully designed to deliver an exhilarating gameplay experience every time you play. Zap is committed to ongoing updates, introducing new content, stages, game modes, and events to keep players engaged and excited. Next up then is Not My Blood. Not My Blood is an action horror shooter where you're facing waves of invading monsters after your family is killed. You team up with your drone bodyguard to defend yourself and you can find weapons on the map or upgrade your abilities and equipment to improve your chances of survival. The gameplay continues indefinitely, challenging you to see how many waves you can endure and the game features aggressively heavy metal music that adds to the intense atmosphere. It's currently a work in progress and is free for early adopters and the future plans include more weapons, drone bodyguard assistance new enemies, skill upgrades, hidden discoveries on the map, and secret ways to end the game. Next up then is Velocity Rush. Now Velocity Rush is a free VR game designed for easy and immersive play. All you have to do is jump as you navigate the fast paced scenarios, weave through obstacles and make quick decisions. The game ensures a comfortable VR experience while it's accessible to all skill levels. It offers challenges for both casual players and experts. Each stage is thoroughly crafted, introducing new challenges and new virtual worlds. So next then is Virtual Boy Go. Now this is a Virtual Boy emulator for the Quest 2 that can be used to play virtual boy games in virtual reality on the quest 2 now this isn't a new game or app but it is very new to sidequest so it can be easily installed using a sidequest app perfect if you are looking for something retro next up then is nightfall warriors now nightfall warriors is a co-op and solo virtual reality game that's focused on fighting supernatural monsters in a co-op mode you team up with your friends or players from around the world to combat evil creatures you and your companion have access to various weapons tools and abilities as you embark on your monster hunting journey the game Game offers both co-op and solo experiences allowing players to choose their preferred mode and enjoy hunting down supernatural monsters with the help of their companion. Next up then is Tales of Sinara. Now in Tales of Sinara, you step into the shoes of a wizard, embarking on a journey to fulfill your destiny. As the champions of ancient realm Sinara, which was once preserved by powerful wizards using the elements, forces of fire, water and air, you find yourself facing a significant challenge. The game offers a fresh and unique approach to playing a mage character, where you'll be able to fly to explore your surroundings and cast spells from each hand, adding an element of strategy to your magic battles. So next up then is Tank Turret VR. Now Tank Turret VR is the World War II Panther Tank Simulator. Set in the ruins of Berlin, you are sitting in the turret of a tank and must shoot large rounds at your enemies while quickly reloading to ensure you destroy your way to victory. Next up then is Slither. Now Slither VR is a snake inspired VR game where players step into the world of serpentine action. As a stealthy snake, your objective is to navigate and engage in the environment and overcome challenges and grow to become the largest snake in the game. This game promises an immersive experience facing you at the heart of the action as you maneuver your snake through vibrant landscapes 
your survival skills are put to the test as you encounter various obstacles and competitors in your quest to become the bigger snake. Next up then is STEM Trek Operation Vigil. Now this is a virtual reality adventure where you play as a scientist on a journey for Antarctica. Your mission is to help Dr. Stephen Daniels who is a scientist who is in trouble. He's been acting strange and sending unusual messages and you must explore the camp to uncover the reasons behind his behavior and along the way you'll interact with the island's inhabitants, create medical tools to address climate change and engage in scientific experiments to discover more about the GAD. So next up then is Quantic Arcade. This is a VR experience that offers a collection of sports games. You can immerse yourself in basketball, darts, duck hunting and archery adventures. In a basketball game you'll use physics based shooting to make precise shots and you can have an authentic dart challenge experience where you master throwing physics for accurate aiming. With Duck Hunt, the game provides a nostalgic experience where you test your shooting skills against fast moving targets in captivating virtual environments. Each game brings its own unique challenges and immersion. So next up then is the Superhero Supply Service. Now this is a VR game where you assist a superhero named Captain Noseworthy. Using the Superhero Supply Service supercomputer, he contacts you with missions and you must race to him in the Superhero Supply Service mobile. That's a bit of a mouthful. You must decipher clues and figure out what special items you need located in the back of the vehicle and deliver it to him before the time runs out. So next up we have the next move demo. In this game you embark on a journey through dreamlike worlds filled with fantastical architecture where you'll face various various challenges including climbing rotating towers, pursuing gondolas across misty lakes and leaping over crumbling stone pillars. To progress and solve the mysteries of the surreal world you'll need to combat foes, tackle intricate puzzles and manipulate in time, immersing yourself in an otherworldly adventure that transcends space and time. Next up then is Never Down. Now Never Down is an addictive game where your objective is to ascend by jumping and pushing off the floor. Your agility and speed are key as you strive to reach the top reach of a range of levels and different difficulties. Now as you play you'll be challenged to demonstrate your climbing abilities, leaping and pushing to reach higher points and the game provides an exhilarating rush as you navigate walls and platforms. And as you can probably tell this game is very very comparable in name and objective to the game only app. So next up then is Mixed Reality Pac-Man. Now this is a super interesting version of Pac-Man where you use the real world as a stage to move in Mixed Reality to avoid the ghosts and become the Pac-Man. It's a completely different take on a classic game that admittedly not many people are going to be able to find a big enough space to use, but it's still a great idea that I actually like the look of. Next up then is Move Fast. Now this is a short experience that lets you get a fun workout while trying to punch, chop and block using your real hands using the Oculus Quest 2's hand tracking feature. So so this is a demonstration for Unity developers showcasing the capabilities of the Interaction SDK for fast action fitness types of apps. So it's not for everybody, but it is free and does deserve to be on this list. Next up then is Moon Soldier. Now Moon Soldier puts you in the shoes of, well, you guess it, a soldier who is on the moon. And you must resist as long as possible as asteroids from an alien mothership come to get you. Likewise, your moon base must not be destroyed by asteroids. Basically, it's a VR wave punching game set on the moon. Next up then is Meta Hazard. Now this is an action-packed virtual reality game available on SideQuest. In this game, players engage in intense 1v1 first-person shootouts set in a mixed reality environment. The gameplay involves strategic weapon usage, attacking opponents' monsters, mastering dodging and shielding techniques, all aimed at emerging as the victor. One of the game's notable features is the flexibility in weapon and shield combination, where players can strategically mix and match various weapons and shields, adapting to their choice dynamically during battles to gain the upper hand. Next up then is Mansion Mystery. This is a new VR escape room game where you are trapped in a mysterious mansion with no apparent way out. You have to use your puzzle solving skills to collect items and interact with the environment. You can solve intricate puzzles in order to escape. The game is really challenging and engaging and the puzzles are carefully crafted to keep you on the edge and you'll need to use your observational skills and creativity to think outside the box and find the necessary tools to solve the puzzles. Next up then is Lark's Mech Standing. This is an arcade style VR game that combines the element of roguelike gameplay and shoot 'em up action with the game's storyline revolves around colossal monsters called behemoths which have devastated cities worldwide. Players take on the role of a pilot of the Crimson Slayer, the last remaining giant mech and humanity's final hope for survival. And within the game, players engage in intense battles utilizing combination of soul play and gun shooting to defeat hundreds of creatures. As players progress, they level up and gain access to powerful weapons and 
allowing them to customize their playstyle. The overarching objective is to uncover the mystery behind the invasion's origins and ultimately save humanity. So next up then is the Libro demo. Now the reason I want to put this on the list is because it's quite an interesting concept. It basically allows you to bring comic books into the virtual world and read them as if it was a box. Now it seems simple, but it's the demo available. It's very interesting. It's very cool. Definitely worth something that you could be checking out. Now, Gorilla Rooms is a Gorilla Tag fan game based on the back rooms where you can run around the back rooms. And as always, there are some scares to be had. Now, even though this game admits to be a Gorilla Tag fan game that boasts the exact same locomotion, it does try to be something different by adding the popular back rooms in order to keep the game fresh. Next up then is the park. Now the park is not a game so much but an experience where you tour the inside of natural environments with some ancient Italian statues involved. The graphics are extremely realistic having been made in Unreal Engine. It is 100% free and also available on the Oculus Quest 1 and 2. Next up then is Funny Monkeys. Now no free game list could ever be complete without the mandatory Gorilla Tag knockoff and it won't be the only one on this list but that's exactly what this is. It's the same locomotion with the same kind of backdrop. This game does exactly what you would expect it to as you run jump and climb through the jungle using your arms as a main source of locomotion next up then is heli raid in heli raid you assume the role of a fearless helicopter gunner aboard a stingray the state of the art gunship and you engage in high octane combat raining down on waves of enemies from the helicopter's door gun and protect your ground-based comrades as the aerial guardian you must provide crucial support as you immerse yourself in a realistic world with dynamic enemy reactions destructible environments and tactile weapon feedback Next then is Big Ballers BR. Now Big Ballers BR is a VR sports game that recently became free on the Meta Quest 2 on App Lab. Now the game sees you play basketball, football and other mini games as you face off against other players in fun PvP action. You can dribble, dunk and sprint with the game also featuring a training mode where you can stretch and exercise like an actual basketball player and the game is also still being updated regularly. Next up then is Bumpy VR. Bumpy VR is a casual social VR game where your Meta avatar drives a bumper car with the aim of meeting friends or other new people where all you have to do is bump them off the edges while using special items with up to six players and avoiding the opponent's collisions next up then is cloud reach now cloud reach is a fantasy virtual reality game available on sidequest that introduces players to the unique challenges involving block stacking the gameplay revolves around stacking blocks in a balanced manner to construct a tower each block placement requires careful consideration to maintain stability and prevent the tower from toppling over as you progress the challenge intensifies demanding a higher level of precision and strategic planning next up then is glass breakers now in glass breakers you choose your combination of champions from a growing roster of the most heroic villainous and notorious inhabitants of the world of moss each champion has their own unique abilities that will complement the others in your squad and match up against your opponents in a myriad of consequential ways you can also customize your squad swagger to make them distinctly your own and once you've assembled your squad you can battle against friends in private games or match with similarly skilled players in glass breakers community next up then is alien farm now alien farm is the first person shooter game set on an alien planet where during the day you tend to your farm growing plants and taking care of animals and then when night falls hordes of giant bugs attack threatening your farm and as you can tell this sounds like a wave shooter where your objective is to survive as many days as humanly possible earn money and expand your farm you can purchase plants, animals, weapons, earn money by selling crops like cabbages, eggs and milk. And at the beginning of each day, you must balance your expenses between growing more crops and animals to investing in weapons and defenses. Next up then is Bounty City. Now this is on itch.io via a name your own price. Now while you could theoretically put zero down as a price, I always say please support developers. It is important that money gets invested into the VR space. But Bounty City is a first person shooting game where the game features a unique free team combat battle mechanic and the objective is to compete for a suitcase filled with bounties leading to intense and unpredictable battles players aim to claim riches and glory by outsmarting and outgunning their rivals while shaping their own destinies in high stakes adrenaline filled world next up then is drf which is drift car racing games now this is a virtual reality car racing game available on sidequest it offers a realistic thrilling driving experience allowing you to slide around corners zoom past competitors and strive to win races the game attempts to provide a realistic driving experience complete with the sound complete with the sound of your car's engine and the adrenaline rush of speeding down straightways 
Next up then is Lagazoi, Echoes of the Great War. Now this game is an early access, but this game takes players back to the time of World War One, where in the game you step into the shoes of a soldier fully equipped with weapons and gear that match the historical period. The game offers an experience by meticulously recreating landscapes like trenches and treacherous mountain slopes, giving you a sense of the challenging conditions soldiers faced. The heart of the game it lies in this battles where you'll engage in fights against enemy forces, experiencing combat strategies and tactics that were used during the war. Next up then is Dead Man's Quest. Now this is a narrative driven adventure game with a quirky pirate theme that is designed to showcase hand tracking technology. In this light hearted experience you'll encounter colourful characters including a lively pirate and engage in witty narrated dialogue and you'll step into the shoes of an unusual character who finds themselves in a tricky situation. Waking up in a hotel cell at a fort where your mission is to solve puzzles to make your escape. The game draws inspirations from classics like Monkey Island and the humour of movies like Life of Brian. Next up then is Hans Playground or Hans Playground is a free gorilla tag inspired game with a standard gorilla tag locomotion where you travel across map by knocking off the floor and walls with your hands. Like I said, it's every gorilla tag inspired game, so let's just get on to the next one. So next up then is Cardio Combat Fighting. Now Cardio Combat Fighting is an action packed fighting game set in a controlled society during a zombie virus outbreak. You possess telekinesis and superpowers and you are the world's only hope. You must use your powers to defeat them and save the world. The game also promotes fitness, allowing you to burn calories while leveling up your character and challenging higher levels through repeated play. Next up is Colorway Antics. This is an immersive VR coloring game that offers endless creative possibilities where you step into a world filled with paintable scenes, each waiting for your unique artistic touch. You can explore a variety of settings from hideouts and chaotic bedrooms to treehouses, zombie infested parks, outer space and mystical caves. The game provides a range of painting tools to unlock your artistic genius and you can use a versatile paintbrushes for intricate details, apply vibrant colors with a fill tool and have fun splattering creativity with paintballs. There's even a sticker tool to add graffiti inspired graphics to your creation and it's a dynamic playful way to express your creativity in virtual reality. Next up is Deliver Riders. Deliver Riders offers an exciting hardboard experience set in a fast paced world of food delivery. In this captivating game players take on the role of a futuristic food delivery rider. The game involves navigating the bustling streets on high speed hoverboards, completing challenges and missions and interacting with unique characters. The game features intuitive controls that allow players to master their hoverboard skills and deliver food with speed and precision. Additionally, customization options are available for upgrading and enhancing your hoverboard, adding to the immersive experience experience of futuristic food delivery in this exciting VR adventure. Next up then is Band Space. This is a multiplayer VR rhythm game that allows players to play musical instruments together in a virtual space. In the game, players take on the role of space musicians on board a futuristic spaceship with each player choosing an instrument to play. You can play drums, guitar, bass and keyboard and as the music plays, notes appear on the screen which players must hit in time with the rhythm of the song. Players can play together in real time with up to four players per session. The game includes a variety of songs across different genres including rock, pop and electronic music. Next then is Downhill Bike. This is a virtual mountain biking game that simulates the thrill of racing down steep mountain slopes on a mountain bike, where the game offers a range of different tracks to provide a different challenge to players as they ride down the mountain. You must maneuver around obstacles such as rocks, trees and jumps while maintaining balance to avoid crashes. The game's recent update includes multiplayer and the game also contains leaderboard support so you can compete for the high score. Next up then is JKXR which is Jedi Knight 2 in VR. Now JKXR is a standalone VR port of the popular Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast. Now there isn't much to say about this besides for the fact it's not an official port of the game but expect many lightsabers and Jedi in VR. Next up then is decommission now decommission is a virtual reality social deduction game where players are placed on a space station to mars that is about to be decommissioned the station is on the verge of collapse and players have to work together to save it from mandatory evacuation however among the players there is a mole whose goal is to sabotage the station and bring it down now i know you know where this is going it's basically another version of among us to win the game players must identify the mole and eliminate them while still working together to repair the station systems and the mole on the other hand must remain undetected and sabotage the station without being caught basically guys it is a form of among us but with meta avatars 
Next up then is Siberian. Siberian is a multiplayer action and adventure game that allows up to four players to cooperate and battle enemies in a futuristic planet. The main objective of the game is to restore and rebuild the planet by completing various missions and quests. With over 20 missions and 50 plus hours of gameplay, Siberian offers an in-depth story that will keep players engaged for hours on end. In addition to the story, the game features an RPG style leveling system that allows players to upgrade their character and weapons as they progress through the game. There are eight unique characters and 11 unique weapons to choose from giving players variety as they battle their way through the game so next up then is a boy a shield and a sword now with this is an action-packed adventure game that challenges players to use his sword and shield skills to overcome obstacles and defeat enemies the game's simple control make it accessible to all players as they swing block and dodge objects while matching their weapons color to that of their enemy the game is set in a childhood dream world where players must use their creativity and wits to overcome the nightmares that plague them Next up is Animal Jigsaw VR. This is a puzzle game that offers a relaxing and educational experience to players. The game focuses on different animals and their habits, immersing players in the beauty of nature. Players can socialize with cheetahs on the savannah or listen to the peaceful sounds of the meadow amongst some deer. The gameplay involves completing 3D puzzles of varying complexity and quantity with over a dozen levels of increasing difficulty. Each level completed unlocks a new region and expands the player's animal collection. And next up then is Ball Balance. Now Ball Balance is a virtual reality game that challenges players skill and reflexes as they navigate through tricky levels filled with unexpected obstacles and challenges. Players must guide the ball along the path avoiding obstacles that can make it fall. The game also requires players to maintain the health of the ball which decreases every time it hits a hurdle. Additionally players must reach the end point within a given time frame and collect as many diamonds as possible along the way and with each level the difficulty increases and players must master new skills to advance in the game. Next Next up then is the Bobots firing range. Now Bobots puts you in the shoes of a robot equipped with a powerful bow and an array of advanced arrows. The goal is to shoot down enemy drones, recharge your shields and protect themselves from enemy fire. Shooting targets also plays a crucial role in the game as hitting them rewards players with even more powerful arrows, giving them an advantage over their opponents. Next up then is Box to the Beat VR. Now this is a VR boxing game that combines intense boxing action with the excitement of music. Players can experience the thrill of boxing while jamming out to their favorite tunes in a fully immersive VR environment. Now we've seen loads of rhythm based boxing games in the past so just straight on to the next one. So next up then is Chroma Run. Now Chroma Run is a virtual reality game that provides a unique immersive experience where you must use your full body controls to physically move, rotate and dodge in order to work out. In the game you'll explore eight fascinating worlds each with its own distinct color and theme and you'll navigate five challenging levels in each world facing various obstacles and challenges that become progressively harder as you get through the game. Next up then is Decoy Drop. Now this is a virtual reality game that puts you in control of a neural linked assault mech. Your mission is to draw enemy fire and attention away from your team's high value target, giving them enough time to position themselves for the attack. The game is designed as a reimagining of classic sci-fi shooter arcade games. You have a free to play mode where you can practice your skills and try to beat your own top scores, allowing you to improve your abilities and prepare for more challenging levels. Next up then is Drone Soccer XR Solo Prototype. Now Drone Soccer XR is a prototype virtual reality game that simulates the experience of playing drone soccer. The game is designed to be played solo and allows users to practice their skills without the need to purchase an actual drone. Players navigate their virtual drone through an players navigate their virtual drone through an arena, attempting to score goals while avoiding obstacles and opponents. The game's simple and intuitive controls make it easy for players to pick up and play, while its immersive virtual reality environments adds to the overall experience. And although currently only available as a prototype, the developers are open to feedback and suggestions from users and hope to eventually release a full multiplayer version of the game. Next up then is Aliens and Heroes. In this game, you play as a fighter who has been captured by advanced aliens to participate in battles against other fighters. The aliens have selected characters from throughout history who have unique abilities and characteristics, and with the help of space-time portals, they have brought them to the arena to battle each other. As a player, you will choose your character and engage in battles using your character's special abilities to defeat your opponents, and the game is set in an unspecified future and offers a unique blend of sci-fi and ancient fighting style. 
Next up then is Forklift Driving Simulator. Now in this game you will have the opportunity to operate a forklift truck, lift and move materials and navigate through different levels of challenges and obstacles. The game features realistic graphics that simulate the environment of a warehouse or factory floor with accurate representation of the forklift truck and the materials you will be handling. It is designed to provide a fun and engaging way to learn how to operate a forklift while also testing your skills and ability to handle different tasks and scenarios. Next up is House Scale VR, which is a cutting edge virtual reality software that utilizes the pass through feature of the Oculus Quest 2 to provide an immersive experience to its users. With this feature, users can create virtual objects and convert them into in game elements. And the game itself is a wave based survival game that involves two types of zombies one, zombies that use projectiles to attack, and zombies that use their hands. Players must defend themselves against these zombies by slashing them with a sword or shooting them with a bow and arrow. During the game, the walls and the objects of your house will translate to in game objects that can be destroyed by the zombies in order to reach the player. Next up then is Kaiju Chaos, which is a VR game that puts players in the shoes of a giant monster known as a Kaiju. And your goal is to rampage through the city and destroy everything in your path like Godzilla. Now this is currently a demo, but the game does feature a variety of different Kaiju to choose from, each with unique abilities and attack. And as players move through the city, they can stomp on buildings, crush cars and battle against other Kaiju. The game also includes a range of human defenders such as tanks and helicopters that players must fight off to avoid being taken down. This game is very similar to Blockbuster which I recently covered in a video. Next up then is Gorilla Volleyball. Now this is an obvious mix between Gorilla Tag and Volleyball with the same locomotion as the mentioned game. This doesn't need any more of an explanation as we've seen many Gorilla Tag knockoffs in the past so let's get on to the next one. Next up then is Mixed Reality Bowling. Now Mixed Reality Bowling is exactly what it says it is. The game allows you the player to play bowling in your home environment by taking advantage of the Oculus Quest Mixed Reality features. That's all we can say about that one so on to the next one. Next up then is Shoot House VR. Now this is a physics based shooting range simulation that provides a realistic shooting experience to players. Players can test their shooting skills with a variety of firearms such as pistols, shotguns and rifles. The game's ammo system is similar to that of Half-Life Alex, which means players can grab ammo from behind the shoulders. The game also features additional mini games for players to enjoy. Multiplayer support is planned in future allowing to players to compete against each other in shooting challenges. Next up then is the bubble game. Now the bubble game is a virtual reality popping game that is designed to be a refreshing and relaxing way to unwind and de-stress from the hectic pace of everyday life. The game in itself is a tranquil world filled with bubbles and your objective is to simply pop as many as you can as you progress through the levels and you'll encounter increasingly complex patterns of bubbles requiring you to use your wits and reflexes to pop them all before time runs out. T Next up then is Toss It. Now this is a VR game where you must you guess it, toss rolled up pieces of paper to knock over the targets in front of you. There are three exciting challenges to choose from, but that's really all I can say, so straight on to the next one. Next up then is Ultra Globe. Ultra Globe is a social game where you fly around an enchanting world on your own or with other players. There isn't really much going on here except for the fact that you've just got trees, waters, animals, insects, fish and birds in the map that you're in. But that's all I can really say for this one, so on to the next one, which is... Next up is VR Arm or V Arm. V Arm is a difficult puzzle game where you control an industrial robot arm to complete tasks. Hand eye coordination will be stretched to its limits as the game asks you to master six rotating and pivoting joints in tandem to complete tasks in your virtual physics based environment. As this is only a demo, you will currently only be able to play two levels of the game, but you can try it out today. Next up is the Rooms of Reality demo. Now, Rooms of Reality is a puzzle game that can be played alone or with friends. It features various levels with challenges that require logic, mechanics, precision, memory, cooperation, cipher, and skill. The game offers a well balance of puzzles, and if you get stuck, there is a smart hint system to help you out. You can play the game in co-op mode with your friends, or go it alone in solo mode. Next up then is Sky Strikers, which is in early access. Now Sky Strikers merges sports excitement with immersive VR by looking and acting like a cross between traditional baseball and the non-VR game Rocket League. In this multiplayer sports VR game, you can jump around on rocket boosters while attempting to use your baseball bat to hit the ball into the goal or use it to defend your position in game. Like I said, it's very much a version of Rocket League in VR. 
Next up then is the Mini Golf Hustler demo, where you must challenge Slick Willie Putman to a high stakes game of golf. The courses you can play on are quite varied and you have nine holes to play on the demo and the aim is to place bets in order to take as much cash as possible from your opponent. You have obstacles on the course like arm torpedoes, tentacle arms and much more and you can use an air horn to distract your opponent. Next up is Moonlander. The goal here is to fly a space copter over alien moons and planets. You encounter enemies as you grow your pilot career and you must deliver packages onto containers while avoiding enemies. Just remember your fuel is limited so make sure to recharge often by landing on charging platforms or collecting pickups. Note at present this is not a full game but only a demonstration. Next up is the appropriately named free VR game Piano. This is a hand tracking game where you can, yes, play piano. You can also record anything that you play on there, but that's all I can say about this one. So on to the next one, which is Bullet Master Run. Now this game looks like a VR version of the mobile game that appears in the adverts of YouTube Short. This is a first person shooter where you are a spy and you must shoot your gun with enough precision to take out the bad guys in order to save the horses. There will always be obstacles in your way so be sure to shoot carefully and try to save as many hostages as you can. So next up then is the Build and Drive Racing Demo. This is a third person VR racing game that allows you to build your ultimate racing machine that is tailored to your driving style and optimized for performance. The game has stylized graphics and arcade like physics so you can use your newly created vehicle to jump over dangerous ramps or face off against your own ghost. So next up then is Ploco. Now Ploco aims to be a very relaxing puzzle game in which you build small and detailed worlds by placing more or less imposing elements and watch it come to life. The music is meant to be very chill that gets richer as you progress and there are said to be cats hidden in the levels for you to find. So next up then is Kill the Dead VR. This is yet another zombie wave shooter in which you try to survive for as long as possible with just a pistol and your own brain. If the zombies catch you then it's game over. Now we've seen a ton of wave shooters the last few months so on to the next game which is one Punch A-Hole. Now One Punch A-Hole is a silly free game that allows you to take out your frustrations on an unsuspecting ragdoll that when it's hit will fly across the level and destroy the blocks in its way. The goal is to get the best combo and high score worldwide. So next up then is Ready Hero Fit. Now in this game you must become a research scientist on a mission to save society by discovering a new energy source. With a human powered ship you must navigate through planets full of vegetation, collect plant samples and face different challenges while getting a full body workout as you row your way through various alien worlds. Next up is another VR workout game called VR Workout Warm Up. Now this game is designed to give you a workout experience that's both immersive and effective. You can transform your living room into a personal gym with a full body VR workout and hand tracking. In this game you'll be doing a variety of exercises including jumping, squatting, push ups and even burpees to the beat of the music. This game is just a warm up for your next VR fitness session. So next up then is the Nano Force Alpha. Now this is a VR multiplayer first person shooter game that's very similar to the game Splatoon. In this game you'll be shooting goo, swimming, jumping and climbing through walls while trying to cover the playing field in your team's colour before time runs out. The goal is to outmaneuver and outsmart your opponents without getting hit by enemy fire. It has vibrant colours and a fast paced gameplay so if you are a fan of Splatoon it could be worth a shot and it is free to try today. So next up is Underground Crash VR. Now in Underground Crash VR you must immerse yourself in the racing world and become an underground driver. This game is full of different racing challenges allowing you to polish your skills, earn prizes in events and upgrade your vehicle. In addition to racing you can also participate in the demolition derby where you must smash the enemy's vehicle to pieces until they can't move no more. You can also play coin eater to earn coins as fast as possible to upgrade or modify your car further. There are four tracks for beginners and veterans to challenge different difficulties and four different styles of vehicles to choose from including realistic, sci-fi, cool and what the developers call cute. So next up is Sphere which is another metaverse that's become available on the Quest 2. As always it's aimed towards growing businesses and personal use as a way of interacting with others in a virtual world and says it's perfect for gamers, entrepreneurs and businesses alike. That's all we can say about that for now so on to the next one which is 
Drum Legend. Now, Drum Legend is essentially a beat table with drums. As this is a rhythm game, it means that the stuff you must hit will fly towards you very, very fast, and you will hit the drums in a world full of futuristic colors. Next up is Immuno Fury, which is a fast-paced gesture-controlled battle against viruses in a unique roguelike Immuno Fury. I see what they did there. Here you must fight deadly viruses that threaten the human body with weapons that are linked to hand gestures and movements that unleash devastating abilities and can decimate your enemies. So next up is the Tycoon Pizza Cafe. Now this is a virtual reality game that challenges players to build a successful pizza business very similar to the classic Roblox VR title like Cook Burgers. In this game players are tasked with maximizing profits and growing their cafe through effective management and smart investments. As at the start players have to do everything themselves from sourcing raw materials to making pizzas and managing the cash counter. As they earn game currency through hard work players can hire new employees and invest in machinery to streamline their operation and increase productivity. The ultimate goal of the game is to become a successful business tycoon in a highly competitive pizza industry. Next up is the Copernic AI Demo. This is an interesting application that allows users to walk through and explore various virtual environments created from AI generated 360 scenes. As you can see here, they can be very trippy experiences. Next up is a Fractal Odyssey. This is an app created by a Ukrainian team to help fight anxiety during the war. It is designed to be used for 15 minutes a day with slower breathing to provide relaxation and release from stress. The app features a fly-through experience of an infinite coach fractal tunnel, providing a visually stimulating and calming experience. Next up is Naruto's Quest. This is a free-to-play game made for the Oculus Quest, designed to let players immerse themselves in battle as they become the hero of the Hidden Leaf Village and prevent its destruction. The game is a fan-made Naruto game that allows players to use various combat techniques to defeat their enemies, featuring battle with well-known Naruto villains such as Pain and White Zetsu. Players can use a combat skills to defend themselves against these challenges using techniques such as Rasengan, Kunai and Fist to defeat their enemies. Next up then is Stilts. This is a Gorilla Tag inspired game designed for VR on the Oculus Quest where players use stilts attached to their hands to jump and run through challenging levels and overcome obstacles. The players embark on an exciting adventure with a mission to retrieve their stolen spaceship taken by a giant octopus that lives atop of a volcano. Obviously, the player must make their way toward the goal collecting cogwheels scattered through the levels to aid them in their journey. Next up then is Spaceball. This is another Rocket League inspired multiplayer game where you can play soccer, basketball and baseball. And like Rocket League, you must hit the ball into the designated area. That's really it for this one. Next up then is Isolation in the Forest VR and Nightmare Reality. This is a VR horror game where you must venture out into the lonely forest and you must survive against evil zombie like cannibals with a variety of weapons including shotguns, axes and more. There are jump scares and everything you would expect from a VR horror game. Next up then is Potato Ronin. This is a basic VR wave slasher where you must slash the oncoming wave of different potatoes who are apparently known as the tubers, not YouTubers I hope. You can dual wield swords, fire kunai at your enemies and sometimes there are potatoes dressed as ninjas, naturally. Next then is THZLS Treasures Lost in Time. This is a VR paper theater experience designed for the meta quest where players use their hands to solve puzzles and manipulate objects. The game is centered around the theme of lost treasure from the past and players will be tasked with rearranging furniture and props within different rooms to uncover hidden treasures. All game objects are original steel engravings from the 19th century magazine. Unlike other VR games that requires controllers, players will use their hands to interact with the game and the world objects. Now, all that's left to do is check on screen for some more free meta quest games are you enjoying the meta quest free let me know down in the comment section and that's it for now and i'll see you in the next one peace